Hello everyone, I made Friday Night Funkin' in Scratch. Here's how. In case for some reason you don't know what Scratch is, it's a very, very basic programming language used mainly by kids. But because the language has no limits, you could hypothetically make anything you wanted to inside of Scratch. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make Friday Night Funkin' inside of Scratch. Before going into this, I knew a little bit about how to program on Scratch, but not that much. You see, seven years ago, I made a few Scratch games, but I haven't really touched it since. I would have been nine years old <laughs> seven years ago. So, I had a rough idea on the steps I needed to take to make this. Starting off with making the game logic, then making a music chart for the arrows, then finally adding a shiny coat of paint. But before I did any of that, I had to actually make a Scratch account, because I lost the password to my old one. Once I'd set up my account, I created a brand new project. Once I made the project, I immediately started making the hitboxes for the arrows. The way this works is a tiny hitbox goes along until you hit an arrow on the arrow keys and depending on what colour it touches you get a different message. Green being sick, yellow being good, orange being bad, red being fail. So I added a little bit of code that clones the hitbox and makes them travel to the top of the screen until the player hits one of the arrow keys. Here's what it looks like with all four arrows. Once I had those hitboxes working, I imported the sick, good and bad sprites from Friday Night Funkin' using Photoshop into Scratch. Then I added some simple code that makes them appear once you hit their respective colour. Then I put the arrow texture from Friday Night Funkin' on top of the arrow hitboxes. So the arrow hitboxes are still there, they're just underneath. This is what it looks like in game and I've got to say it's really starting to come together and look quite nice. I added some more arrows at the top of the screen and their glowing counter part for when you hit a note. I really like how this looks. And with this system I can spawn notes easily with one broadcast command. And with that that was pretty much most of the game logic done. Now let's move on to the sprite. This is going to be way easier than how I made the sprites in my other videos because in Scratch you can actually import files unlike other games like Game Builder Garage. Thankfully the Friday Night Funkin' Wiki had all of the sprites in GIF format so I didn't have to import them one by one. He looks like this in the Scratch game. With this simple code, I managed to get his animations working correctly. So, this part just loops the boyfriend's idle animation. But these four strings all do the same thing, but for different directions. They freeze the boyfriend's idle loop and make him look in a certain direction. Then start the idle loop again. I hope I explained that well enough. Anyway, there's one big part of this game missing. The boyfriend's opponent. I wonder who it will be. But first, do you want to get into game development? Or just play some really fun games? Well, I've got you covered with the sponsor of today's video, Core. Core is a new PC gaming platform where anyone can share, create and play PC multiplayer games. You can build games from scratch using thousands of free music, sound and art assets with no coding required. But if you want to go above and beyond, you can create your own game logic in Lua. You can make your own scripts and 3D models that look amazing because of Core's high quality AAA graphics. You can create a 3D single player or multiplayer game by yourself and then publish it instantly for others to play. And once again, is out there is a 50% revenue share between you and Core, which is double Roblox's revenue share and 10 times Fortnite Creative's revenue share. Meaning that you can pay bills, buy your dream car and quit your day job like some Core creators already have. Here are two games that were made in Core that I really like. This one's called Death Run and it reminds me a lot of the Minecraft game Death Run. Honestly, I think the Core one's way more fun. And this other game's called Music Mayhem and it's pretty much a combination between Beat Saber and Friday Night Funkin'. And it has a ton of songs built in, such as Ballistic. So, if you want to get into game development or just have some fun, you can download Core for free using my link in the description and pinned comment. I honestly highly recommend it, it's really, really good. So, the boyfriend's opponent will be... The Scratch Cat. I wanted something in the game to be Scratch themed, and this was the best idea I had. And thankfully for me, the Friday Night Funkin' Mod Wiki also had all of the Scratch Cat's assets in GIF format. So I was easily able to import the Scratch Cat into Scratch, and I was able to copy over the code that I used to make the boyfriend move to the Scratch Cat to make him move. And it looks like this in game. Next, I made all the hitboxes invisible and added the weak free background. And with that, that was pretty much all of the sprites done. Now time to add the song and map it out. So I imported the song Dad Battle into Scratch. 
this was an absolute pain to map because I spawned the arrows using the wait a certain amount of seconds block. I had to go back and listen to the full song again, which would take like 30 seconds at a time. But here's what it looks like. I know it's off in some places, please don't get mad with me. Now, the only thing left to do is add a few finishing touches. Like a menu. A miss mechanic. And a secret ending. But before I show off my game and some of the people's Friday Night Funkin Scratch games, I'd like to ask you, if you've enjoyed this, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Thank you. Anyway, I'll pass it over to Facecam me. Yo, what's up? Welcome to my Scratch game. So this is my Scratch profile. I've shared the game. It's just called Manx Ninja Pig. If you want to check it out, it's pretty good. I joined a week ago. So here it is. Friday Night Funkin versus Scratch Cat. You want to press WASD and it was made for an epic YouTube video, which is the one you're watching right now. So here's the intro. So I've got a nice loading screen. I can just press enter to skip it though. And here it is versus the Scratch Cat. This has taken ages. I spent so many hours on this. It's just so... L it's so tedious to code. I missed. I, I keep on missing. I'm not very good at Friday Night Funkin', but I've tried to map this, like, close to the original, but with the Scratch Cat. And I think the Scratch Cat moves very fluently. Oh, I kind of got a combo. What? Wait, what's happening to the Scratch Cat? I... <laughs> Was that a lazy ending because I couldn't be bothered at mapping any more of the arrows? Well, I added that ending just because mapping these arrows was so difficult. It'd probably take like four minutes to add one arrow. Now, let's take a look at some other games that other people have made to see how much better other people's games are and how bad I am at programming. Five Night Funkin' Week 2. So, this is Five Nights at Freddy's mixed with Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. This game scared me so much as a kid. Like, I'd watch like two minutes of a YouTube video and get scared. Night two. two one. one. Go. Spooky. This is Spooky's. And it's got Bloom Boy, Chica, Bonnie. Tell me who that is in the comments. Oh. That's got some nice animations, really. This is well made though. I like all the sprites. The sprites look really good. I think they've just ripped it off FNAF World. Yeah, that was pretty good. And because I have an account now, look what I can do. I can go like Friday Night Funkin' Matt moveset. So this is Matt from Wii Sports. You may know him as the, like, the really difficult guy. Like I could beat him in a fight because look at me, I'm massive. Hi, Manx Ninja Pig. Wait, wait, how does it know my name? What the hell? <coughs> Oh, this is just like another one where it just has all the sprites, but I think this is so like copy the sprites from that game and put into your own game. Crab Battle Friday Night Funkin' and it's got Mr. Krabs. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Three, two, one, go. Yes, hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes beep, beep, beep. This remix is the Mr. Krabs meme, the funny one. What? What? Look at this animation. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no way this is real. When mum says get off the Xbox. <laughs> it's so good. Friday Night Funkin' Platformer. So this looks like to be one of the platformer games that I used to make. It's got a speedrun time. Timmy. It doesn't say time properly. Week 2 spooky month. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm going through all the weeks. And I have to speedrun it. Like, it is. Guessing this lava kills you. Yeah, it does. 40 seconds. Oh, nah. I need to get a good time. I need to dream Minecraft to speedrun it. Oh. Senpai, bro. It's Fawns. Fawns is difficult. No, it's not. Okay. Week 7. Tank man. Oh, they've just put... Hey, end. I got oh, one more second and that would have been really funny. 27 seconds. Let's go. That that I I probably spent like 5 minutes speedrunning that. But oh, the last game. Okay, Friday Night Funkin' Roses. It looks like I'm doing like a really good one to leave it on on. Not bad for an ugly little worm. I'm not a worm. What? Do, 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 do. Beep, 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 do, do, do. 
Okay, this is really well made. This is better than my one. Probably because they bothered to, like, map... They haven't mapped out the things for Senpai, though. So, I guess mine's better. Better than... Oh, oh, okay, this is a little difficult. This is a little difficult. This is what I wanted to make when I started making it. But I guess... I guess it takes... It takes a really long time to map out these arrows. I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, before you go, please check out Core. Link is in the description. It's honestly really good and worth your time. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I've spent so long making this Friday Night Funkin' game. I probably spent around 30, 40 hours on it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching to the end.